Welcome back to Positively Port St. Lucie. I'm Sarah Prohaska, Communications Manager here at the City of Port St. Lucie. Well, this show is called Positively Port St. Lucie, and right now I am I invited a guest on to feature a truly positive thing that is happening in our community um, um, with a group of women who have come together to really make an impact um, in our area. And I have Debbie on here to talk to us a little bit about this group, which is called Impact 100. And we just wanted to help shine a light on your group and what this amazing thing that you've come together to do. So, Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, and I'm really excited about this. Um, Impact 100 mm -hmm. St. Lucie yes. is actually, um, we are concentrated just in St. Lucie County. So mm -hmm. um, we have 123 women who yeah. have donated $1,000 each. And in April, we will provide a $100,000 grant to a local nonprofit. That's amazing. Because yeah. yes. $100,000 for a nonprofit can really make a huge difference. So exactly, it really is amazing that you have able, been able to gather these women right. um, who are each willing to give $1,000 um, to help our community in, in this way. Exactly. And um, it's really interesting because when I talked to some individuals within the counties, mm -hmm. you know, people said, oh, you know, how are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. You know, women in St. Lucie County, you know, don't give the same way as women in Martin mm -hmm. and Indian River. And I was like, what? Yeah. How can you think that? Mm -hmm. That women in St. Lucie County aren't business savvy, mm -hmm. aren't influential, yeah. and, you know, are passionate yeah. about, you know, our community. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, again, as I said, in less than 12 months, we had 123 women. My goal uh -huh. is to have 200 women by this time next year because then we could give two $100,000 grants yeah. to nonprofits within the community. Yeah. So how did this, so you said you started about a year ago. Yeah, a little um, over a year ago. How did this idea come about? Well, it actually was, um, the concept uh, was developed by a woman named Wendy Steele. Okay. And um, I want to, I can't remember where she's from. Okay. But Cincinnati, I think. All right. Um, and that was, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago. And since then, um, there are now 60 some um, chapters. Uh, chapters of Impact yes. 100. Uh -huh. um, we also have a chapter in Indian River mm -hmm. and Martin County just started a chapter last year. Okay. So, um, and there are a few in Australia too, I think. Mm -hmm. So, oh, but wow. that's how the concept started. Okay. And the idea was that, you know, women, really want to know where their money's going. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is a way that you can donate your $1,000. Mm -hmm. You can vote on the nonprofit that you want to receive that. And, you know, you're not with that, with, you know, this concept, you're mm -hmm. not paying for, you know, admin, you're not yep. paying for a structure yep. or somebody's mm -hmm. salary. Mm -hmm. You know that your thousand dollars is going right to that organization. Yeah, so. that's wonderful. So how many, so how, so the groups that could be eligible to receive this money, how, are you still accepting applications? No, um, no? the okay. applications were cut off. Um, I can't remember now, oh, but okay. we're, yeah, we're in the, we received 23. Oh, wow. um, Letters, letters of intent okay. from um, nonprofits within the community. Mm -hmm. um, we have met and um, selected the ones that we want a full application from. Okay. And then we will vet those, do site visits, and then um, in April, April 17th, when yeah. we have our award ceremony, the final three okay. will have um, a like five minutes to present. Okay. But during that time, we actually have all women can go on once the final applications are there. So okay. all 123 women can, can go research. on. Yes, mm -hmm. and see. Um, and um, and it, that during that award ceremony, that's when the the, the 123 women vote, right? Right, and right then, then. Right then. Oh wow. Yeah. So then um, you know the votes are um, counted, yeah. and then. Um, they come out with a big check with the name of the recipient. Yeah. So it's really, we were very fortunate that our sisters in Martin County invited us to their first okay. um, award ceremony. And mm -hmm. I, I, I can't tell you how exciting it was mm -hmm. to be in a room with over a hundred women 
all you know, yeah. making this huge impact yeah. within, their, within their community. Yeah, because $100,000 can do a lot for a nonprofit. And you were just telling me one of the um, criteria to, to apply is the project has to be, there's some, some of the, well, tell me a little okay. bit about some of the criteria. So um, the project or program, program. needs mm -hmm. to be transformational okay. and sustainable. Okay. So, you know, people have wonderful ideas, mm -hmm. but, you know, they have to be able to sustain this. Okay. Now, um, you could, you know, people could go online and see some of the amazing things that have been um, have been created yeah. mm -hmm. um, and started with a hundred thousand um, dollars and I just heard about one recently and I haven't had a chance to um, research it but it was in an another state where you know there was a homeless problem mm -hmm. and they built tiny homes oh wow on land that was donated I mean it was just amazing yeah. so that's yeah but you could probably build a lot of tiny homes for $100, exactly $1, and yeah. then I can't remember now what the sustainability was from mm -hmm. it but another a local example would be and oh um, Indian River has 400 women. Oh, wow. Oh, my so, goodness. Yeah. So I'm we'll a, get there one day. Yeah. Well, I'm a little aggressive. <laughs> yes. So, you know, I give me two years. Uh, uh -huh. But, um, yeah, they had one that comes to mind quickly is that um, they donated uh, money to Hibiscus Children's okay. Center in Vero mm -hmm. um, to create a visual um, graphics department. Oh, wow. So they're not only teaching the children. Um, visual graphics mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and print, printed yeah. graphics, yeah. then they're able to sustain it because they are then receiving revenue from that. Yeah, exactly. So, so they're those they're making their own ads and graphics flyers, right. all that stuff. In right. House, that's really great. Yeah. yeah. And then there's, uh, like I said, they uh -huh. you know they have a ton of really great things that they've done yeah. but um, so you know in our community like I said my mission is to have 200 women by this time next year that so that would be wonderful yeah just think of the changes that we could make oh my goodness yeah so and you were also telling me that um, so you have sponsored your your um, Grand, your, yes. your granddaughter so that's yeah, so another possibility too correct? yes so there um, I sponsored my granddaughter mm -hmm. who's 23 uh -huh. um, and I I did that because I thought if we don't teach philanthropy mm -hmm. to our daughters and granddaughters, we're doing a disservice to them and our community. Exactly. Um, I know another member that sponsored um, um, her daughter. We had another sponsor who, uh, or another member who sponsored um, a young woman who is um, the homeless liaison for St. Lucie School District. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we had another one, uh, another member who um, sponsored another millennial yeah. who is working with autistic children. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. And then, yeah, this gives them a, uh, a voice and it gives them a vote so exactly. in, in making a difference in this big project that's gonna exactly. program that makes exactly and we've had men who've sponsored their wives okay we had um uh, companies that have sponsored oh. an, a female okay and as i mentioned before it, impact 100 is one woman one thousand dollars one vote okay so but we love to have men you know <laughs> help us yes. get there yeah um, our award celebration is going to be April 17th mm -hmm. um, of course our members will have you know free lunch yeah. but if any woman or man wants to attend and it's, see what it's fifty dollars okay and they um, can come see what it's all about yes, and the, and the great uh, positivity that comes yes. out of all of this. Yes. It is. It is so, um, as I said, in Martin's, when we attended Martin's, I, I, I was just mm. electrified. Yeah. Okay. And then just to know that your, you know, your contribution mm -hmm. is making such a huge difference in the community. That, yeah. So let me, um, if you have someone who is interested or maybe you're interested and in, how would they get in touch? How would they, um, um find out more? You can, um, you can call me okay, on my yes. cell, <laughs> okay. which we can, is... We can put it up there if you yes. want. But, uh, um, it's Debbie Butler, and my cell number is 772-359-2000. Mm -hmm. 
2824. Okay. Again, it's 772-359-2824. And I can then give you a link to our website. You yeah. can go on Facebook okay. and um, look you up. Yeah, yeah, look us up. Impact yeah. 100 St. Lucie. Okay. Um, and yes, this is such a wonderful opportunity for any individual mm -hmm. and any company in our community. Also, That's we're good. looking for sponsors oh, great. for the a luncheon. So oh, okay. any company that really wants to get their name out in the community, mm -hmm. this is a great opportunity. Yep, there's 100, uh, 120, 23, you said 123. Yeah, 123 right women. Right there, yeah. yep, that you'll be exposed to. Yeah, so. All right, well, that is great. This is really a, an exciting thing, I think, for our community, and we're really, I'm looking forward to see who you your group votes on this year yes. so who will uh, who will be the winner this and year and i have to tell you we are one of our um, um I guess missions starting mm -hmm. out was to have one of the most diverse um chapters in the u.s so okay. we have a african americans we have women from ecuador we mm -hmm. have a federal u.s federal judge we have oh, a mayor wow. okay uh, petty tobin is actually okay, great our <laughs> yes. from our planning and zoning yes. department wonderful yes. okay um, so we have uh, yeah it's amazing i mean i have a whole list of of um women yep. but um, from and all women, areas and women from india I, and uh -huh. one of the things i have to say i know as the president for guardians for new futures uh -huh. i know all kinds of you know people in the community community but mm -hmm. I have to say joining impact 100 or starting impact uh -huh. 100 and meeting all of these the these visionary philanthropic women that I had never crossed we, yeah, paths with yeah, before. Yeah, who live in our area. Yes, yeah. it's so amazing. It's so. a great way to bring like minds together. So that's really uh, another good good aspect. Yes, of it. and so. you know we kind of refer to ourselves as our sisterhood. Yeah, because yeah. these are sisters we've never met before uh -huh. or never worked with before. Yeah. So wonderful. Well, thank you, Debbie, for so much for coming on with us and taking some time out of your day to oh, to welcome. talk about this. So, yep, well, we look forward to seeing um, your big news in April and yes. then also. So maybe we'll have you on again next year and see how far, how we're doing getting to yes, that 200,000 yes. or 200 yes. um, uh, mark there. So. Maybe we'll go over the 200. Ooh. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would okay. be really great. All right. All right. Thank well, thank you. you so much. We really thank appreciate you. it. Thank and you. we'll be right back after these messages.